Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at try with resources and this is a Java 7 language feature so if you're using Java 6 or below you won't be able to do this. In the last tutorial we looked at reading a file in the, the old style in Java and what we found was that you, you end up doing something like this where you've got a nested try catch block and like catches all over the place and it, it really looks terrible and uh, in this tutorial we're going to see a language feature that was introduced in Java 7 that can enable us to simplify this quite a lot. So a lot of what we're going to do is going to be somewhat similar but um, we're going to end up with hopefully a lot less code at the end. So I'm still going to declare a file object and let's actually create a file here to work with. So I'll right click my project, I'll go to new file, I'll call this test.txt and let's just copy some lines in from my, my other project here. So I've got this little text file here and I'm going to use this. Now actually what I'll do it here is, now that I think of it, I'll, I'll show you how this works without files because what I'm about to show you is um, nothing intrinsically to do with files, it just happens to be very handy for working with files. So I'll show you it independently of files first. Let's imagine that we've got a class up here, let's call it class, uh, I'm just going to call it temp or something like that. And I'm going to say here that temp implements auto-closable, auto-closable, like that. Now the auto closable interface just specifies that your class should have a, um, a temp, uh, sorry, a close method, a method called close. So if I click this error here and add unimplemented methods, now we've got a close method here, and uh, that throws an exception. And let's just put in here sysout closing, so that we can see if this method runs. Now imagine that in my main method I create, I want to create some sort of um, object of the type temp, like this. And later on I need to close it, I need to remember to close it like this because otherwise I don't know what's going to happen but um, somehow it's going to be bad for my program. Then uh, here I, I've got to handle this exception, which could be thrown from this close method. So let's put this, let's put a try catch around it. But now this program should work. And if I run this, it says closing. So we uh, we created a temp object, and then we called the close method. And temp was actually forced to have a close method because it implements auto closable. And let's just put the cursor on that and press F3. We can go to this definition, and we see that auto closable has nothing in it except that it says you've got to have a closed method that throws an exception. That's what auto closable, what this interface does. Okay, so let's let's delete that, but keep that in mind. And uh, oh no, let's not delete it actually, because I, I still want to show you something here. Now instead of instead of um, having this try block here, what we can do is we can get rid of that and when we actually declare the temp object since Java 7 we can surround that, we can actually put that in the um, in, in a, in a, after a try in kind of like uh, round brackets like this and this is called uh, try with resources so I, I put after I've got the keyword try and I've got round brackets like this and within the round brackets I'm declaring and assigning um, some variable. I'm, I'm creating an object using new and assigning it to a variable that implements auto closable, and that's the important bit. It's got to implement auto closable. And I open a curly bracket of the try here, and uh, let's just click save. And now, if I look at the error here, it's complaining that it throws an exception because this close method throws an exception. Actually here it doesn't throw it, but it could do because of this. So let's just click that and say add um, catch clause to surrounding try. So now we're catching the exception here. And now, like there's no warning here that I haven't called close, which ordinarily there would be. And if I run this code, 
we see that it's actually calling, closing, and that's what this does. It actually, the fact that we've declared this auto-closable object, we then try, means that the close is automatically called, and we don't have to worry about what will happen if an exception is thrown, or um, what will happen if it executes normally, because whatever happens, this will automatically call close. So we could even say here, throw new exception like that. Let's say, oh, oh no. And even if I run that now, it's still calling closing, even though we've got this exception being thrown here. So close is always called. And that's what's so great about this Java 7 language feature, the try with resources that works on these auto closable objects. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually leave that there, come to think of it, and I'll create a new in my project, let's get the right one, I'll create a new um, main method. I'll right click and I'll go to new class. Let's call this app2 and click finish. And now I want to show you how that works with regard to files. So I've got my text file down here and I'm going to say file, file get rid of the caps lock, file file equals new file test dot text like so and I'll do control shift O to add the import and um, now I want to uh, to read it as we saw in the last tutorial if I want to read this line by line I need a file reader and a buffered reader and in the last tutorial what I did was this I said buffered reader buffered reader br equals new new buffered reader and I pass the file to it and then it's at the import and then I that's throwing an exception so there's going to be an error there and uh, then I said in fact this is the wrong way around the first thing I said was file reader um, fr equals new file reader and we pass the file to that and then we pass the file reader to the buffered reader. So we've got three objects here that are kind of buffered readers using this file reader here. File reader is using the file here. It's like a Russian doll kind of thing. And what we can do even in Java 6 or um, I suppose any version of Java which will save a bit of, um, uh, which will save as a line is that instead of declaring this separately up here because we actually never refer to this again after using it down here so instead of having a separate variable for it here I could take my new file reader here and just declare it in the constructor and um, the call to the constructor of buffered reader so uh, let's just add the import make sure it's there so now I'm creating a buffered reader and I'm, I'm creating a new file reader and I'm passing file to it and I'm passing that object directly to buffered reader to the constructor of buffered reader all in one line so that saves us a little bit of typing but now what we're going to do is we're going to use a Java 7 language feature to try with resources again and I'm going to say here try and I surround this whole line with round brackets it's a bit of a long line but never mind and I open the curly bracket here and if I click this error, I can add the catch clause like that. And we've got file not found. And here we could put an error message like sysout can't find file. And you probably know the drill by now, file.toString. If this executes, um, this could execute because we can't close the file. But the most likely cause of it is... Um, is that we couldn't read the file properly. So let's put here uh, unable to read file and uh, file.toString. So I think this I think this error message here will, is going to come out even if we're unable to close the file. And the user doesn't really care if the file can't be closed. They only really care usually if it can't be read. But um, not much to be done about that because uh, this is just so, you, you see how uh, succinct this is, it's so small compared to the monstrous mess that we had in the last tutorial which to remind you looked like, looked like this with a nested try catch 
And to complete our program, we just need this bit here that actually reads the file line by line. So we go to App 2 and paste this in, the try block, Control shift f to format there. And now we've got a complete program that reads a file, So and it closes the file handle as well, because we're using this try with resources. And if I run that, then we're reading the file. And if it can't find the file, let's say, then we'll get a nice error message. So what we've done is we've replaced uh, this, this monst monstrosity, which I, I can hardly bear to look at, to be honest with you, with this here, which is much, much nicer. But it only works in Java 7, although this, this bit here will work in Java 6 as well. It's just there's no try with resources until Java 7. So that's it for this tutorial. That's a very handy feature that you can use to simplify your code. This code will be on caveofprogramming.com. So check out caveofprogramming.com. And I'm also in the process of setting up a email list uh, with a weekly newsletter that will contain my free um, tutorials and special offers and stuff. So check that out. And until next time, happy coding.